Now start it in the second answer. Good morning, children. Yes, yesterday already, uh, in the last class, we have already discussed about the parts of speech. Up to noun, pronoun, verb, adverb, and adjective. Let me go through it once again. Okay. Let me go through it once again. Still, if you have any doubts or still any new participants are there or those who did not write the notes, just make a note of it. Everything very clearly. Okay. If you have any doubts regarding the subject or regarding the going on topic, you can ask me. Right? Is that clear? Is that clear? Yes. Let me go with that. Yes. Parts of speech. What are the words we are talking? Okay. Will comes under the different types of parts of speech. Under the different types. There are eight kinds of parts of speech. How many types? Eight types of parts of speech. As we all know that they are noun, pronoun, verb, adjective, Preposition Conjunction Yes, say along with me. Now, pronoun, verb, adjective, adverb, preposition, conjunction, interjection. Conjunction and interjection. Now, pronoun, verb, adjective, adverb, preposition, conjunction and interjection. As we are about the four topics that is noun, pronoun, verb, adjective. Once again, I will recall the lesson. Okay. And let me go through it first. Now. A noun is a naming word. A noun is a naming word. It tells about the names of names of person, place. Place, animal, 
or thing. For example, Ramya is a good girl. So, what is the noun in this sentence? Ramya. Okay, next. Place. Why is that? Is my favorite place. Is my favorite. Is my favorite place. Just make a note of the definition once. A noun is a naming word. It tells about the names of person, place, animal, or thing. And write down the uh, example here. In this, Ramya is a good girl. What is the noun here? Ramya. Make a note of it. I'll give you time. Just make a note of it. Yes, note down the example. And one more example. Yes, one more example. Why is that? Is my Favorite place. So, what is the why is that here? Now, make a note of it. Shall I clear the board? Please nod your heads. If you don't just know your heads, shall I clear the board? And next pronoun. Instead of a noun, for example, he, she, it. Yes, write down the definition once. Pronoun is a word which is used instead of a 
noun. For example, he, she, it. He, she, it. Yes. So we all just try the definition. We all have the habit of saying or pronouncing the name so many times. Okay. If other first suppose if we are writing a paragraph about uh, about Tanya. Tanya is a good girl. Tanya wakes up at six o'clock. She goes to school by bus. She comes to school or she uh, reads. Uh, she studies at school. Okay. Instead of Ramya, Ramya, we can use she as Ramya indicates a girl name. Isn't it or not? Yes, Ramya indicates a girl name. Isn't it or not? In such a way, if we are talking about the boy, we should keep he. If we are talking about the things, we have to keep it. We have to keep it. Okay. So, just pronoun is a word which avoids the repetition of nouns in a sentence or in a paragraph. In a sentence or in a paragraph. If you have any doubts, please raise your hands. Yes. If you have any doubts, please raise your hand. Uh, the option is there after the participants. In, in Zoom app, you find the option like more. If you have any doubts, just raise your hand. In that more options, raise your hand will be there. You can raise your hand if you have any doubts regarding this topic. And then I'll clarify it. So no doubts. Shall I continue? Yes. So have you all written the definition? Well, show me your books. Have you written or not? Show me your books. Have you written or not? Show me your books. Everybody should. Everybody should show your books. Have you written or not? Yes. Okay. Put on your books. Put down your books. Put down your books. Yes. Let me discuss about verb. Verb is a word. Verb is a word which shows the action which shows which shows the action when is a word when is a word which shows the action for example play run eat jump Okay, it just indicates what are the work we are doing or what are the things we are doing at the time of speaking or at what the work we are doing. It generally comes under the work. Work is nothing but work. All the action words will come under words. All the action words will come under words. All the action say along with me. All the you should say along with me all the action words will come under work. Will come under work. For example, play, run, eat, jump. Okay. So whatever the work we are doing, generally it will come under what? Work. It will come under work. Still, if you have any doubts. Still, if you have any doubts, just go to the option more and you can raise your hand there. I'll unmute you and you can clarify your doubts. Okay. Shall I clear it? Next one, adjective.
as a word which describes which describes which describes which describes a noun adjective is a word an adjective is a word which describes a noun which describes a noun which describes a noun yes an adjective is a word which describes a noun make a note of the definition make a note of the definition once Yes. See here how an adjective describes a noun. Here in a sentence, it is a bright day. Yes. Here day is noun, isn't it, Omar? Day is noun. How was the day? How was the day here? Very bright. Very bright. It describes a noun. The words which describes a noun or tell some information about the noun can be called as an adjective can be called as an adjective yes day is a noun and bright is an adjective day is a noun and bright is an adjective how because it, it gives some information about the noun what is the noun in this sentence? It is a bright day. What is the noun in this sentence? Day. Isn't it or not? Yes. How was the day? Bright. How was the day? Bright. So this word bright gives some information about this noun. Isn't it or not? Yes. So this word, the bright comes under the adjective. Comes under adjective. And here also, I have a red car. What type of car you have? Or what is the color of the car? You have here red. So red comes under adjective. Red comes under adjective. Red comes under what? Adjective. Right down there. Next, we have a beautiful house. What type of house you have? Beautiful. So this beautiful comes under adjective. This beautiful comes under what? Adjective. And what is the noun here? House. What is the noun here? House. In this car is the noun. And red is the adjective. Yes, the words which are going to describe or tell something about the noun is called as an adjective is called as an adjective write down just walk it down if you have written just show me your books if you have written just show me your books along with the examples you have to make a note of it till if you have any doubts just go to the options mode in that the option will be there raise your hand you can raise your hand and you can ask me your doubts. Okay? Yes. Till if you have any doubts in this, 
Still? No. Okay. Shall I clear the board? If it is okay, means just nod your heads. Nod your heads if it is okay, means. Yes? Okay. Next, let us go with the example. Yes, let us go with adverb. Yes, an adverb, say along with me, an adverb. An adverb is a word which describes a verb, which describes a verb. Which describes a verb. In, in the previous one, in previous one adjective, we have learned that adjective is a word which describes noun. There is a lot of difference between noun and verb as we already learned, isn't it or not? Noun is far different from the verb, isn't it or not? Nouns are naming words, nouns are naming words and verbs are action words, verbs are action words, isn't it or not? Yes, noun is nothing but it indicates the name of a person, place, animal or thing. We all have names, isn't it or not? You also have your name, I am also having your name, isn't it or not? Yes, and the animals will also have the names and the things what we are using are having the names. We all have different kinds of names, isn't it or not? So, all the naming words will come under nouns. All the naming words will come under nouns. All the action words will come under what? All the action words will come under words. Here let me tell you. Now, verb. Yes, what are the nouns and what are the verbs? We all have an, we all have an idea. Isn't it or not? Yes. Lion. Mm. Ramya. YZ. Mumbai. Bench. These are all the nouns. Isn't it all? These are all the nouns. Yes. Then what are the words? Eat. Run. Climb. Eat. Run. Climb. Mm. Next. Jump. Verb is nothing but action words. Write down action words. Action words. Nouns are naming words. Nouns are naming words. Yes, that is a lot. Naming words and action words. These are all naming words. Lion, Ramya, YZ, Mumbai, Bench. These are all the names of person, place, animal or thing. Animal or thing. These are only naming words. But particularly here, I'm talking about the verb, which has something done. Okay. For example, eat, run, climb, jump. I wrote some examples here. These are the examples of action words. These are the examples of action words. Now you got clear? These are 
adjective means which describes a noun. Which describes a noun. There is a lot of difference between adjective and adverb. Don't be confused between these two. Okay. Don't get confused between these two adjective and adverb. Adjective describes noun and adverb describes word. Adverb describes what? Adverb describes what? An adjective describes what? Yes. Preposition is a word. Say along with me. Preposition is a word which is placed, which is placed before a noun. or show show some relation between the other things between the other things Yes, preposition is a word which is placed before a noun or show some other relation, some relation between the other objects or the other things in the sentence. Or you can write preposition is a word which is placed before a noun, which is placed before a noun, which is placed before a noun. Preposition is a word which is placed before a noun. Before a noun. Here, let us go with the example. He is hiding under the tree. Here, what is the noun here? Tree. He is pronoun. Yes. The boy he is hiding under the tree. There is a connection between these two things in a sentence. With under. Isn't it wrong? So this is called as preposition. We can simply identify the preposition as it just placed before the noun. As it just placed before the noun.
relation to some other objects. Objects in the sentence. Yes, read the definition along with me. Preposition is a word which is placed before a noun to show its relation to some other objects in the sentence. To some other objects in the sentence. Just write the definition. I'll explain the examples. Make a note of the definition once. Make a note of the definition. Read the definition. Read the definition. children you have do you have any doubts do you have any doubts regarding the parts of speech up to now what i have explained you if you have any doubts just raise your hands no doubts raise your hands just go to options more okay at down there are four options like participants and more or you can you have to click the option more and then you can uh, find the option there raise your hand if you raise your hand i will clarify your doubts if you have any doubts just raise your hand or else i'll go and continue i'll go with the class oh someone has doubt Yes, do you have any doubt, ma?
Good morning, children. Welcome to Pravitya Online Class. I'm your mathematics teacher, Pravina. Yes, children. In the previous class, we have learned about additions and also subtractions. Yes. Yes, children. We have learned about additions and subtractions. Now, some more additions and subtractions. I am going to give you, children. Please listen to me. I am going to give you some instructions. If you have any doubt in the particular class after the completion, I mean, I am going to give you five more minutes in the in this session. The last five more minutes, I am going to give you so that you can clarify your doubts with me. Okay. So for that, what is the step you have to follow? You have to focus on the class properly, and you should sit in a concentrated way, children. Fine. So everyone should focus on that particular task. Yes. Whatever the doubts you have, you can clarify after the completion of the session, in which the five-minute session is left over. In that left over session, we are going to deal with the doubts. Children. Fine. So now <coughs> we have an example. Yes, children. Uh, what is the example means? See here, I want to tell you that, for example, there is your birthday which is coming nearby, and you, your parents are deciding to purchase. They have decided to purchase a new dress for you. Yes, children. So you are all very much. I mean, you are very much enthusiastic, and you, you and your brother or sister uh, are going to your full family is going to a. Shopping mall. As it is locked down, so shopping malls are not at all open. Okay, when they are open, you are going to purchase. Fine. Okay, let it be. So you are going to a shopping mall, and uh, your uh, mother and uh, your mother has selected one dress of rupees two thousand. Your mother has selected a dress of rupees two thousand to uh, for you children. Okay. Next, for example, if you have a brother or sister. And even she want to purchase for your sister or for your brother, so she has purchased a dress of rupees fifteen hundred, that is one thousand five hundred. So total amount, how much she has to pay to the shopkeeper? How much amount she has to pay, children? So here, what you have to do, it is nothing but plus. Means you have to add these particular numbers, two thousand and fifteen hundred. You have to add, children. Yes. Now, how much do you get? Zero plus zero, we have zero. Zero plus zero, zero. Zero plus five, we have five. Two plus one, we have three. Which is nothing but three thousand five hundred. So rupees three thousand five hundred she is going to spend on your dress. So now you can understand how much love your mother has on you, my children. Yes. Next we have another example. I am going to give you another example, children. See here. Uh, for example, you are going to a nursery. Nursery means in which we have full of plants. Yes, yes, children. So nursery, you are going to the nursery, and in which full of plants are there? You and your family have decided to purchase some plants. So have decided to purchase some plants. So the the total amount after purchasing the plants, it is just think that it is some eight hundred and sixty rupees. It is just. Eight hundred and sixty rupees, children. And what your father did? He has given thousand rupees to that particular, um, I mean, flower vendor. Okay, to that particular flower vendor, he has given thousand rupees. So how much amount you are going to get back? How much amount is left? So for that thousand rupees, what you are going to do, children? You are you are going to do the subtraction. So thousand minus eight hundred and sixteen. So what is the amount that we are going to get? Zero. And here we have the borrowing subtraction. We have ten minus six four, and we are left with nine, and it is zero nine minus eight one. So you are left with one hundred and forty rupees. So that uh, flower vendor is going to give one hundred and forty rupees to your father. Yes, sir. So here in one situation we have done. Addition and in another situation we have done the subtraction which we have learned already. So just I want to revise and I want to recapture whatever we have learned in terms of examples. Yes, children, are you all understanding? 
Fine. If you want, you can note down or uh, not needed. I'm going to give you some more examples. Fine, children? Yes. So we have learned about addition and subtractions. Now I'm going to give you one problem, children. So example one. You have a problem in this text called six seven zero six five triple zeros minus. We have five seven nine two three six eight plus two seven six four eight five three zero. Yes, children. I don't think you got it. So we have to solve this. Yes, we have to solve this one now. So now, what we are going to do? First of all, we have to add these two numbers. So what are the numbers we have? Five, seven, nine, two, three, six, eight, plus two, seven, six, four, eight. Okay, as is a big, the uh, the big number. What we have to do is. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight-digit number, and we have three plus three, six, six plus one, seven-digit number. So eight-digit number we will write first. Four, eight, five, three, zero, and next we have five, seven, nine, two, three, six, eight. What we have to do here? We have to do the addition. Yes, children. So we have. Eight three plus six nine five plus three eight eight plus two ten so five so nine plus five we have fourteen uh, seven plus six thirteen plus one fourteen twelve plus one thirteen and we are left with so three three four four zero eight nine eight so this is the number and we have to do six seven zero six five triple zero And you have to do the subtraction. Three three four four zero eight nine eight. We have to do the subtraction. Fine. We have to do the subtraction here. So go for the borrowing subtraction because we cannot do zero minus eight. So ten minus eight two. And here we are left with nine. Nine minus nine, we have zero. Again, we are left with nine. So nine minus eight, one. We are left with four. Four minus zero, four. Six minus four, two. And we have ten minus four, six. Six minus three, three. Six minus three, three. Yes, children. In this way, we have to do the subtraction. First we have added the numbers, then we have done the subtraction. So in in this particular problem, we are doing addition and also subtraction here.
Yes, children, I am going to give you some more two examples. Please note it down. 2H7365 plus 230109 minus 378986. Note it down children, you have to solve this problem. Another one also I am going to give you. Six thousand plus two thousand minus thousand. These two problems you have to solve children. Please make a note of it. Yes, now another example we are going to solve as 9012567 15H minus 3125014. Now we are going to solve this problem. What shall we do now? First, let us do the subtraction 567 
Is it okay, children? Is it clear? Shall I wipe off the board? Shall I wrap the board? Yes, children. Yes, two more examples you take. Copy two more examples. You have to solve these two problems, children. Yes? After reopening of the school, I'm going to check all these problems in your notes. So write neatly, properly, children. So children, with this we have finished our addition and subtractions. So which are the basic concepts. So when we are entering into the exercise problems in your textbook. Children, are you all focusing? Please focus on what I am saying everyone. Children, in textbook, the problems you have to solve on your own. Why? Because I am explaining you in detail addition and subtractions. Children, my another suggestion, advice is that you just change the numbers and try to do the additions and subtractions. Why? Is it okay to you? No? Yes or no? Yes, very good. All Pragati children are amazing kids, excellent, super. Yes, so this is about the shall I wipe off the board, children? Is it okay? Did you all copy? Very good. Yes. Yes, children. Now, uh, focus, now concentrate. I'm going to give you one example. You have to tell me how I have to solve it. Fine? So, children, see here we have, for example, you and your friends. Just think that you and your friends, totally five members are there. Totally five members are there. You all five members have decided to purchase some chocolates. To purchase some chocolates. Okay, as you all five friends are very best friends, close friends, so you all have decided to purchase a chocolate of the same rupees, I mean same amount, same amount. For example, I say that 
वन चॉकलेट वन चॉकलेट वन चॉकलेट जस्ट इन दैट इट इज ट्वेंटी रुपीज वन चॉकलेट इज ट्वेंटी रुपीज ओके एंड यू आर गोइंग टू परचेज फाइव चॉकलेट ऑफ सेम अमाउंट यू आर गोइंग टू परचेज फाइव चॉकलेट ऑफ सेम अमाउंट चिल्ड्रन सो फाइव चॉकलेट वॉट इज द कॉस्ट ऑफ फाइव चॉकलेट वॉट इज द कॉस्ट ऑफ फाइव चॉकलेट वी हैव हाउ डू यू से हाउ डू यू कैलकुलेट इट यू जस्ट आई प्लस ट्वेंटी With some operation which is called as multiplied by five, so twenty five zero. So we have hundred rupees. Am I right? Am I right, children? So one chocolate it is twenty rupees and five chocolates of the same price. We have twenty multiplied by five, which is nothing but hundred rupees. So now we are going to learn about multiplication. We are going to learn about multiplication, children. Fine. Yes. Multiplication is nothing but repeated addition. We say that multiplication is called as repeated addition, children. Yes, right now as the heading multiplication. Multiplication is the repeated addition. This is important. Multiplication is the repeated addition of the same number. Please note it down, children. Everyone. example you have multiply 46 by 38 multiply 46 by 38 multiply 46 by 38 46 by 38. So what you are going to do? We are going to do the multiplication. First you are going to multiply by 8. So 8 six are 48. Children, before doing the multiplication, you should be very much perfect aware of tables. First of all, everyone should be aware of tables, children. Fine. Uh, yes, children. So we have eight six zero forty eight four carry eight four zero thirty two plus four we have thirty six and now we are going to multiply by three. So we have in the place of thirty we are going to multiply. So zero we have three six zero eighteen eight four zero twelve twelve plus one we have thirty. So we have to do the addition eight six plus eight fourteen three plus three six six plus one seven and we are left with one. So what you are going to do, children? Here, here you are multiplying first forty-six multiplied by eight, and in the next step 
You are multiplying forty six by thirty, and then you are getting the product as forty six multiplied by thirty. Copy, children, everyone. Please copy. Children, general instruction: You have to sit and focus on the class. You should not sleep or you should not do any other activities. Just feel that you are sitting in a classroom. Fine, children. This is the general instruction. I am observing some children are very nicely sitting in their postures, and you are copying. And some children are sleeping and listening. This is not the correct correct thing, children. Just feel that you are sitting in a classroom and you are learning something. Education is a divine process. Fine. Yes. Without education, a man is just like an animal. You have to keep that point in your mind. Fine. Yes. So this is about the multiplication. One small example we have seen, children. Shall I wipe out the board? Did you copy everything? My children, please give me some gesture. Give me, please tell me. Shall I wipe out the board? Is it okay? Shall I wipe out the board? Yes, fine. Yes, we have another example, children. Multiply another example to multiply three eighty four by fifty three. D eighty four multiplied by fifty three. I am going to give you one minute time, children. Okay, two minutes time. I am going to give you so that you will solve. Will you all solve, children? Multiplication. You are aware of multiplications. Three eighty four multiplied by fifty three. So we have three four seven twelve. Three eight seven twenty four plus one twenty five. Three three seven nine nine plus two eleven. Next we have zero five four seven twenty. Five five eight seven forty plus two forty two. So five three seven fifteen plus four. Just add it. Two five three zero two. Two zero three five two. Please take two examples as homework. Example three: multiply. Very simple. I am going to give you six eighty four by forty eight. This is first one and second one: three eighty nine by eighty nine. Are you all 
enjoy the class, children? Yes. Or am I boring you? No. Yes or no? Yes, children. So you are all enjoying the class. Children, you have to thank your school. Why? Because we are not at all allowing you to waste your time. Fine. Even in summer, we are conducting the classes so that you do you will not be deviated to the other activities. I hope you are all understanding, children. So two problems I have given you as homework. So I am wiping off the board. Shall I? Shall I wipe off the board, children? Yes. Yes, children now, an interesting fact I am going to tell you, are you all ready? Yes, fine, very good. See here, one small trick I am going to tell you, one small trick I am going to tell you children. So we all should be concentrated and focused, fine. See, for example, you have 25 multiplied by 25. So the numbers which are ending with 5, how to do the multiplication? We know already the traditional method, how to do the multiplication. 25 by 25. Shall I tell you the easy process? Some small trick I am going to tell you. Yes. What is 5 by 0? Simply write 25. Yes, children. Next we have a number which is nothing but 2. That 2 you just simply multiply by 3 by its successor, by its after number. So 2 multiplied by 3, what do you get? 6, that's all. Finish. The problem is finished. Very easy trick children. Do you all like it? Fine, very good, very good. Yes. Now let us do another problem. But it should be of the same pattern. So 5 and 5. What do you get? 5 minus 25. What is the after number of 3? After number of 3, we have 4. So 3 fours are 12. That's all. So write it as 1, 2, 2, 5. That's it. Did you all enjoy the trick, children? So 35 multiplied by 35, we have 1,225. Yes. Shall we do another number? Yes. One is three digit number. 105 multiplied by 105. So here you have 5, 5, 5 is 25. And we have 10. After number is 11. Just one time. 10, 11 is 110. So it is 110, Yes, children, do you all like this trick? Did you all understand? But it should have the same numbers. 25 multiplied by 25, 35 multiplied by 35. Now you try on your own. Fine? Yes, children, shall we check our answer is correct or not? Let us check. Yes. Let us see 35 multiplied by 35. 5 by 7, 25, 5 3 is 15, plus 2 70, 0, 3 5 is 15, 5 1 carry, 3 3 is 9, and plus 1, 10. So 5, 7 plus 5, 12, so it is 2, 1. So 1 to 2, 5. Do you get the same answer or not? 1 to 2, 5. Yes, same answer we got. Yes. Now you have to check on your own children. This simple rule, simple trick, I want to say. 
Yes, children. Did you all enjoy the class? Will you all do the work which I have given you just now? Additions I have given you, subtractions, multiplications I have given you. Yes, children. At any cost, you should not procrastinate your work. What do you mean by procrastination? You should not escape from your work and you should not be lazy of your work. You have to complete it. Fine, children? Yes? Okay, thank you, children. Enjoy your day.